Hello, in this program, I'll teach you how to find the peak value present in an array. So what is a peak element? So any element in an array is called peak element if both their neighbors, let's say we have an element 10, if both their neighbors, the left and the right neighbor are smaller than this element, then this element is a peak value. Let's say we have 5 at the left neighbor and 4 as the right neighbor and we can see that 5 is smaller than 10 and also 10 is greater than 4. In that case, 10 is a peak element. So we have to check for the left neighbor and the right neighbor and both the neighbor should be smaller than the element. Then this element is called a peak element. So now let's discuss the approach. We are going to traverse the array using a for loop. And i less than length and i plus plus. We are going to use this for loop to traverse this array. So let's say while we are traversing, i points to this location. So if i points to this location, we are going to check if the value present at i th location is greater than the value present at i minus 1 th location. This will be i minus 1. We have to check that i minus 1, the value present at i minus 1 is smaller than the value present at i and the value present at i plus 1 th location should be smaller than the value present at i. So if we keep on checking this, if you find a match, we will create a variable called peak and we will store the value which we found in peak. So let's say in this case, when i pointing to 5, we can see that the value present at i minus 1 that is 2 is smaller than 5 and i value present at i plus 1 which is 4 is also smaller than 5. So this meets the condition for the peak element. So we are going to store 5 in the variable called peak. So this is how we find peak element. But we need to remember three cases in this program. Case number one is what if the array has only one element. Let's say we have an array which has just one element. So what do we do in this case? When i points to this location, we do not have a value at i minus 1, nor do we have a value at i plus 1 th index location. This both will give you array index out of bound exception. So what do we do when the size of the array is 1? So in this case, the peak element will be the only element that is present in the array. So we will be printing ARR of 0 and this will be our peak value. So case number 2 will be, let's say we have an array What about the value present at index number 0? This does not have a left neighbor, right? This is the first element, so it does not have a left neighbor. So we cannot check for the value present at i minus 1th location. But it has a right neighbor. This is okay. But we do not have a left neighbor. So in this case, so when index is 0, what we have to do? Only check for right neighbor. This is case number 2. What is case number 3? So we have an array. So case number 3 is for the last element. For this element while, while you are checking, when i points to this location, we can see that it does not have a right neighbor, but it has a left neighbor. This is okay. But we do not have element at i plus 1th location. So what do we do in this case? So when we are checking for i equal to uh, last element or last index, 
what we have to do is only check for left element okay these are the three conditions which we have to implement in our program so let's now write the program i'm creating a variable called n and it will be the length of the array so i'll do a dot length so now i have a variable called peak which will be initially the first value of the array so now let's do the case number one that is if the array has only one element so if n equal equal one what is n n is the length of the array right so if n is one it means the array has only one element so when array has only one element we are going to print the only element present in the array because that will be the peak and we will exit the program So case number one is done. Now, for the rest of the part, we have to first traverse the array. So we will be using a for loop. We have for int i equal to zero, i less than n, i plus plus. So inside this array, we have to first check for condition number two, which is for the value presented at the index number 0 so if i is 0 that is we are pointing to the index number 0 the first element so in that case we do not have a left neighbor right so in that case we will only check for the right element What is the right element? Right element will be i plus 1th location. If the right element is greater than the current location, we will say peak equal to i plus 1 and we will close the if. So next condition will be case number 3. That is for the last element. So else if i is pointing to the last element. What is the index of the last element? It is the size of the array minus 1. So I will say if n is pointing to n minus 1th location. I will check for only the left neighbor. So if the left neighbor is smaller than the value then I will say peak is a of i now for the rest of the element of the array so we have checked for the first value we have checked for the last value now all we need is to do for the elements which is present in the middle of the array so for that it will come in the else part say else if the value present at left this is the left neighbor if left neighbor is smaller than the element and the right neighbor is also smaller than the element we will say peak as a of i we will close the else we will close the for loop and we will print the peak value that's all so if you learned something from this program please leave a like and consider subscribing to my channel Thank you.